So I got the chance to attend the world premiere of the fourth and final season of one of my favorite shows of all time, The Umbrella Academy. Check this out. David, so the final season, it's got to be bittersweet. Do you have any uh, favorite memories from filming or being on set with the cast? Uh, yeah, I mean, it, you know, the Tiki Bar scene in season two was sort of the beginning of understanding what we all could do with the writers and the cast and the drama and the comedy and the father di dynamic, the whole thing. Yeah. I, I think that was sort of the beginning of being like, oh yeah, we're going to be doing this for a long time. Oh my gosh, I mean, many favorite memories. This last season was a blast when we were in the van flipping upside down. So whenever we're all together, it's it's a pretty good time. From any of the seasons? Any of the seasons. It's gotta be the Footloose dance. Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, it was by far one of the, the most fun things we did. And uh, my buddy, buddy Keegan, he just, just turned up. He was stuck in traffic, he just turned up. Uh, <laughs> Glad you could join us. Yeah, yeah just get in it. Um, and also the wedding sequence. The yeah. wedding sequence was because it was like having a proper wedding. And uh, we just had a big party, a uh, wedding basically, so it was awesome. great fun. That's yeah. awesome. And now it gives me great pleasure to introduce you to the Umbrella Academy creator, executive producer, and showrunner, Steve Blackman. After two delayed flights and about two hours of sleep, I'm finally home, so here's my honest review of The Umbrella Academy Season 4. So after showrunner and creator Steve Blackman came on stage to give a few words, we were shown the first episode of Season 4, and good news, it was awesome. It honestly felt like these simple days back in Season 1 and Season 2, and though I liked Season 3, it just felt like they were doing too much, and that got corrected in this season, well, at least in Episode 1. The family has brought all back together, and though some of their personalities have changed since the finale of Season 3, Klaus especially, the dynamic between the family that we all love is still there and even more entertaining. And this was just episode one. With bitter sweetness in the air to watch this wonderful series come to an end, I got to witness some emotional moments with the cast in a theater full of passionate fans to send it off. And after getting to watch the first episode of the season, I can safely say that it's going to get the ending that it deserves, and this could potentially be the best season yet. I will forever love this show and these characters, so make sure to check out The Umbrella Academy final season out today on Netflix.